Good morning, everyone. So we are doing this. I bought two SD cards and I have an extra battery for this Sony vlog camera and we are doing it. I busted out my camera that I bought a while ago. What is this? This is the 6400 Sony. I need to use this thing and we're gonna be doing vlogs. Enough with the chitter chatter about it, we're doing it. I need to get out of my head and think, oh, I need to have some whole curated vlog when I just need to show regular freaking life. Not everybody is always doing something all the time, so we're gonna do it. Also, I truly miss vlogging because I miss the memories and I feel so grateful that I have so many years of memories on my vlog channel. I don't plan on putting vlogs on that vlog channel. I It's just too much to like separate everything, um, but, I still have an idea for that channel because I don't want to lose it, you know? I have so much stuff on there, so I'm gonna figure it out, but it's not going anywhere. I actually made this puff pastry right here and it's with peaches from our peach tree. And I'm very proud of it. This is my first time making puff pastry and it honestly was so easy. I have a reel and since this is a YouTube video, I'm gonna put it on YouTube Shorts. Mm. So it has a cream cheese filling with cinnamon and peaches. This is very easy to make. I'm actually pretty surprised how easy this is because there's other recipes I want to make. And I just think how much money I've been spending on danishes. FYI, cheese danishes are my weakness. That's probably the only thing that gets me back at Starbucks. I'm not kidding you. Also, they have a new white chocolate macadamia latte it's really good but it's not my fave because we have an espresso which i'm gonna make myself coffee today i've been under the weather like the last couple of days i feel so much better today i'm just like woo. but i'm definitely gonna caffeinate today because i need it i haven't had caffeine in like four days now mm. i actually wanted to make oatmeal but this is the last danish so let me just have it. I've also been trying to avoid like super sugary stuff in the morning because I always think about those videos like right when you wake up, like what are people putting in their bodies? Sugar. I'm trying to actually cut back on sugar a lot, like big time. I posted a video of stuff that's been helping me. The protein bars that I posted, also the sugar-free candy and all those things, like they kind of supplement when I get like a sweet tooth because man, I have a freaking sweet tooth. I wish I didn't, but I do. So for today's vlog, there is no plan. I'm not gonna overthink it, and I'm just going to freaking vlog. Also, I went back to my mom's house, and I picked up my wedding dress because it was there, and I was like, I need to bring my wedding dress back to my house. Um, but yeah, uh, one thing I wanted to touch base on is my mom. Now, I know a lot of people love asking about her, and I think in one of my other videos, I didn't wanna give off the wrong impression where I said, like, Please just respect privacy. All I meant was like, I, I appreciate the well wishes. I love when you guys like, how's your mom and all that. But I'm just saying like, it's just hard to discuss things that are happening currently right now. You guys will eventually like, I'm sure hear about it or whatever, whatever I feel like sharing obviously, but um, you'll eventually hear about it and what's going on and all of that with her uh, because there's a lot of changes and a lot of things going on. Uh, but I'm not saying like, oh, I'll never show my mom or anything like that. I actually have her on Sunday, so maybe I'll feel comfortable vlogging with her a little. But again, it's very hard because um, life is very different now, you know? It, it, it's different because you don't know she has dementia. So unfortunately, it's starting to, you know, progress. So it's a sensitive topic for me. That's all I really ask is just to be respectful of the situation and to obviously just respect privacy when it comes to that but trust me i really appreciate you guys just giving well wishes the best thing that you guys can do is just pray for my mom and i would really really appreciate that uh street sweeping is happening right now this is pretty delicious i'm not gonna lie i'm definitely gonna be showing you a lot of my recipes through vlogs i've decided i'm not a recipe maker like I have a chili recipe. I saw it and I don't know if I want to even post it. I think it's just kind of like blah, but I know you guys, do you guys even want to see it? I have it. I almost deleted all the footage yesterday, I'm not gonna lie, because I'm just trying to organize myself so I can get these vlogs going. I also appreciate all the feedback saying like, just show normal life. Like I work from home. A lot of you guys work from home now 
and you really like at home vlogs, so we're gonna do it. Mm. I also have to work on my brand. I've been slacking on it, and I'm always upfront and realistic. It's just because I need to get a lot of things like settled with like my inventory and new things I'm gonna be adding because I'm gonna be making extended sizes anklets um, and different things that I can make for larger sizes because like I said, I want my jewelry brand for all and it's really hard to find like plus size friendly jewelry. So I wanna give options so that people don't feel left out. So I don't wanna just like put one thing out, one thing out, you know, I want to just make sure I'm organized with everything so I don't want to make any mistakes. But I'm working behind the scenes on it and everything I'm planning. Just I haven't posted anything, but it's hard to like balance everything out. Um, but I'm going to get it done eventually. I just need to stop being so hard on myself. Our peaches actually don't grow super, super sweet yet. But this is usually what our peaches look like. And they're not like the sweetest. It's like kind of a balance of sweet and tart. A little bit more on the tart side. But we have some peaches that reached about like like this and they were pretty large and I was in shock. So it's really great because we have like these bushes and stuff with the bees so they, they can help fertilize the plant because they're, um, they have all the pollen from the other tree and then they're fertilizing our peach tree. And it's like bees are a must. Like I learned all this stuff, like you need those bees so that our peach tree can flourish. So if you're ever wondering like, how come this tree isn't growing or how come, like I had a lemon tree and for the longest, you guys, it was like my dream to have a lemon tree as a kid because I always lived in a condo my whole entire life. So when I would go to friends' homes or like uh, family friends' homes or whatever, and they had fruit trees, I was honestly amazed, like so amazed. I actually was always amazed when we would go to someone's house because I was so used to just being in a condo that whenever I would go to like someone's house, I'm like, wow, like this is so cool. Like I remember thinking like every house was a palace, you know? Um, and when I would see that they would have fruit trees, I'm like, that is so cool. And I remember like I had like a friend and she had a, a fruit tree and she's one of my really close dance friends. I was like, that is so cool. I want that like, you know, when I'm able to get one. Um, so I got a lemon tree and there was no lemons for quite a while. And I was like, what the heck? And it's because it was in an area that there wasn't like a lot of trees, like my buds weren't getting um, fertilized, you know, from the bees. And now we have it in a spot and I finally have lemons now and they're growing really big. Right now I don't have any, um, they're all gone, but we made fresh lemonade weekly. It was the most amazing thing. And to also use fresh lemon for like fish and chicken, it just felt so cool. And plus who the hell wants to buy lemons at the store? <laughs> when you got a lemon tree or a lemon plant you know and it was just so frustrating i was like what the heck is the point but yeah it's pretty cool to have a peach tree like i had all my little neighbors like grab some and who all my cute little neighbors that always walk by at certain times like when they always see me outside i was like go ahead and grab peaches and all that and those things honestly we had a lot we had a lot of peaches probably like the most peaches we've had um in the four years of living here you guys can you believe we have been in orange county four years like glenn and i were like what the heck i can't even believe it it's been four years time flies by so freaking fast it is unbelievable glenn was laughing because he said one side of our tree he's like have you seen it i was like no he goes they're all gone i was like good because when they drop it is no fun because well we haven't even had that much freaking sun but you can smell like the peaches kind of you know rotting in the sun and then obviously it goes to the ground whatever but um, but for a moment it kind of stinks, you know, when they're fresh and they drop. Uh, but I was happy because I don't like picking all of them up like the rotten ones. So pick away. And we probably have maybe only like two peaches. Glenn just brought in like three more and this is like all we have left. But I'm really happy because this year, like barely any of them went to waste. You okay, you walk? Oh, okay. I thought he was doing like the reverse sneeze. I get scared because, um... We have to be careful with him because he's on his heart medication and hold on. You okay? Oh. Okay, he's just he's just scratching himself. I got worried. Um but yeah, none of the peaches went to waste. Also, you guys are up on my tripod. I am so tired of me saying I'm too tall. I can't please it just came out my mouth apologies i'm so tired of saying i'm too tall it's too hard to place a camera trust me it's annoying to place a camera because shorter vloggers are very easy to capture their body and their face if i were to put it down at the average size of the vlogger 
you're you're gonna get the tatas, okay? I'm not trying to do that. So let's make some coffee. Here's our Nespresso. You guys wanna help me organize my coffee bar because I really need help. I still have stuff up from freaking Valentine's Day. Um, we got one napkin. We got these cute little pink hearts. I haven't had time to concentrate on this stuff because it hasn't been priority with all the things I do need to do. But I bought, and they've been sitting here for months, new ones because they're pumps. And, and they have like a curve kind of down instead of straight out. And we're gonna have our syrups and pumps. And it's also too late to return this stuff. So we're gonna do it. it kind of sucks because it has like the cork. And then when you try to clean it, yeah, it's not the easiest to clean. And that cork area, how am I supposed to clean that? So with the pump, it has like the plastic so I can really get in there. I had one trail of ants going to our syrup. It got Glenn's hazelnut. I'm not the biggest fan of hazelnut, so I felt bad for him, but it wasn't mine. <laughs> the entire tray in here, it's gold, and it's supposed to be really nice. I wouldn't know, because it's been months. Mug of choice, Stitch. Stitch is my favorite character. They're also coming out with the live action, Lilo and Stitch, which I'm so excited about. My cat is so spoiled. Put that ledge up for her. Can we get her, or is she gonna be a brat? Oh, a brat? Okay. <laughs> so she has that little shelf. Oh, hello, from Costco, and it worked out really well. Lilo and Stitch, and one of my old dance sisters, she DM, or she didn't DM me, she commented, and she was like, oh my gosh, Lilo is actually my daughter's classmate. And I was like, going to Hawaii to go get my lashes done by you, and then also, pick, auntie's gonna pick up your daughter from school. <laughs> I just realized my camera had so much shit on the lens. Okay, what is going on with the weather? I can't even believe we haven't even been able to use our pool. A vanilla custard pie. I haven't been adding any like extra caramel or anything like that to it because I'm trying to avoid sugar as much as possible, like when I can. Also, I wanna do a video on this so bad because it is so damn fun. This popcorn machine I got for Christmas. It is the funnest thing ever. So I gotta show you guys how it works and all of that one day um, when we have like a movie night or something. I wanted to plan like a movie night with some friends, like just come over in PJs and stuff like that. I think it would be so much fun um, with like our group of friends. Honestly, I don't think the guys would even watch the movie. So I'm like, can we just watch something fun? Like something that people just like laugh at or quote like Mean Girls or whatever, you know? And then the guys will probably just like drink whiskey. <laughs> Smell it. But yeah, we gotta work on this whole Valentine's Day situation because this is not it. Then just some creamer, just some vanilla. And that is it. I'm so excited for this coffee. Ooh. Oh, she's strong. Mmm. Oh. This is what I've been taking every day. Glutamine and creatine. Glenn and I, and we're running along creatine. But this glutamine I get off of Amazon, and it lasts forever. But we've been doing that since we've been going more consistently to the gym. I haven't been to the gym in a week, though. So this is the first, like, really long time break. So I already know once I hit the gym... It's gonna feel so damn good, like I needed that rest, you know? Ooh, mix this around. I hope you guys are excited for vlogs. Also, because I keep it 100, your girl needs some Botox. I really want, not that I need it, but I want it, okay? Not that you need it, I want it. But I'm not like addicted to like always needing to go, um, because I'm not, but when I want it, I'm like, I think I want it now. <laughs> I don't, I don't know, I'm like, I know some people like, it's like you have to keep up with it, all that. Honestly, when I want it, I want it. Um, so yeah, I definitely want to go. Mm. This is so good. It's giving me life. Okay. Um, I need to figure out what I'm going to film today because I've been kind of a little, a slight bit unorganized. Uh, I need to film stuff for my brand though. That's what I need to do. I have a lot of new stuff to post too. So that's what I really want to work on. But with that, I need to get ready because I need to pose in the jewelry. In the meantime, 
what I can do is just take photos of the new items and not have to get ready. Because there's so many things that like with the listing and and the sizing and the all this stuff, it's like so much to do. I really like it though because I don't know, I feel like really excited when like people wear my jewelry. Like I have one, one subscriber, but it's like a friend, you know, Steph. Well, I've talked to her so long where I know who she is, you know what I mean? And she also went to my, one of my very first meet and greets in San Francisco. Well, my only one in San Francisco, up here 39. But that's when I met her, and that was like one of my first ones I ever planned. Uh, but yeah, and she wore the Virginia Pearl on her wedding day, and it made me so happy. Like, you have no idea. I totally teared. I'm very sentimental. Which, if anybody ever tells you, like, you're too sensitive or whatever, you're not. That sounds like a personal problem. Because I've been told from people like, oh my gosh, you're so sensitive. Like, when did you become so sensitive? And I'm just like thinking, when did you become like so harsh? <laughs> because I can ask that question back. <laughs> I'm also cracking up because let me show you my new house slipper. It's like brand new. It's new. I've only had it like a week. But we mop our floors and stuff. So it's fine. I grabbed this. I was cracking up because I had a house slipper. <laughs> And it's like the pink or like the black fuzzy one that everybody has from Amazon. And it's a really good slipper. It's really comfortable. But I got some strong toes, okay? So every time, you know, when you put your foot in, it like you try to put it in because you're trying to fit your foot in. I guess my big toe made a hole <laughs> right here for me trying to shove it in. <laughs> so I had to order some new ones. And then when I got them, I thought it was the same one because I just clicked. And I was like, send. That's like the best price whatever like two dollars off from like the original i got it and i got this i was like what the hell <laughs> so it's like a platform oh my gosh don't knock it till you try it this platform gives so much support it's way better than the other one because the other one's just like flat and thin and this one just feels so good and supportive on the foot i love it like it's so good highly recommend it so uh yeah but <laughs> can you see them yeah i really like it but they're just so supportive but i just thought it was funny because i straight created a a hole in one of my slippers um but yeah i'll link these ones down below because they're so much better you have no idea so i wanted to say but you have no idea when i got it i was like what the heck is this and when it came wrapped it was just like on the doorstep like wrapped in clear packaging and it just looks so funny right and i was like what is that like what the hell is that and i was like oh my gosh it's my freaking new house slippers but yeah, I kind of wish this part was black, but it's fine. Um, but really recommend it. <laughs> All right, so we had a little bit of a change. I ended up editing a, a lipstick decluttering video because I forgot I had it. And I wrote down like, don't forget to edit that because I randomly filmed that. I'm having lunch and it's not that, it's actually really not good at all. I need to go to the store. So what I've been doing is every single dinner, I like get exactly what I need for that dinner that I'm gonna make. But I forgot to get like bread, like some other stuff I just needed, like staples. But I thought I got everything because I got so many veggies because we had zero fresh produce the other day. I don't have any bread for like a tuna sandwich or it's like really hard for me to like figure out what to eat during the day. So I have this lame freaking, it's Rayos because people always correct me, it's not Rouse. I thought it was Rouse. It's Rayos. And it's the chicken Alfredo. Half of the freaking Alfredo sauce boiled and went into the microwave. It said not to vent it, which I didn't, but I guess it was already kind of pierced and it bubbled out. But this is honestly the saddest Alfredo I have ever tried. Like the sauce, I'm very surprised how liquidy it is. <laughs> Gosh, that looks so nasty, but this has zero flavor. I'm pretty sad eating. Well, I, I mean, at least I have a meal, right? The flavor is sad. Mm -mm. It just seems so salty too. I'm trying to eat it just so I eat something, but I think I'm about to just grab some salami and crackers and cheese because this is not it. I don't like wasting stuff though. It excites me. Okay, listen to what excites me. <laughs> when you get every single thing at the grocery store and you use every single thing. Like tonight I was like, okay, I'm gonna make mahi mahi. Mahi mahi is always my go-to. Because one, the fish is good. We have asparagus, so I'm gonna make it with asparagus. And then we have a salad pack I wanna use up and we have leftover Wingstop Ranch, so we're gonna have a ranch salad. And then I'll probably make like rice, not mash, because the other day I had to make 
Uh, Glenn wanted uh, mushroom chicken, and today he's eating that at work with mashed potatoes, so I'm not going to make mash for the mahi. I'll just do rice, and we'll do salad and a veggie. But I don't know. I haven't had, like, a TV dinner in a hot minute. It's too salty. We did try the Rayos lasagna, and it was not bad. It was actually pretty good, but... Everything else homemade, you know, tastes so much better. And I make a really good lasagna. That Rayos was so bad. I'm going to have this little stick right here. It's from Larissa's Kitchen. I actually did a collab with them on TikTok. And this is like the best tasting meat stick ever. Have you ever tried a Slim Jim and it leaves that nasty film on your mouth? It is not good. So they sent me like a bunch of beef jerky and these sticks. And Glenn... Took all the Korean barbecue one, which I wanted, and I was dying to try it, so I went in the drawer, and I was like, he took it, <laughs> because he just takes it for work, which is fine, but the jalapeno one is really good. Um, the one he took is like the regular type of beef jerky, but I need something to satisfy me, so it does have six grams of protein in this, and I love it. It tastes so good. There's like no grease, and the flavor is so tasty, but on road trips... Why does beef jerky always taste so freaking good? I feel like my lunch was so sad today. But it's reality. I'm not going to like lie and say that I made this whole beautiful, bright, colorful salad. <laughs> Got a Rayos and a meat stick. That's stuck in my teeth. <laughs> All right, I'm going to go. I need to put on some makeup so I feel alive. Something I like to do. <sighs> I just got done filming a bunch of TikToks, also two YouTube videos, and I did my makeup. Sorry, guys. I didn't show you any of that because I just had to get it done. Um, I'm feeling so good. I'm so happy. It's just like my voice sounds a little bit raspy, but I've had like zero phlegm too. So woo to that. Um, I actually kicked this cold so quick. It took me like three days, if that, if that. Okay, so I'm actually going to give the pets a treat right now. Who wants a treat? Who wants a treat? I knew she was going to be first. And it's funny because we have this app and it is called Pet Libro or something. So we just feed her through here and she's going to take off like crazy. I wish I could place a camera, but watch. Hey, why is this paper towel on the floor? See, she already started running. Who wants a treat? Okay, let's see if I can get her. Come on, Hoku, come over here. I try to trick her. I try to trick her. Watch, she's gonna take off. Come here, you walk. Oh, this one's too small for you. Who wants a treat? Oh, there she goes. See, she knows to run over there. It is so funny. Oh, come here, here's a treat. Here, Hoku, right here. See, she's not stupid. Come here, Hoku. She's not buying it. Come on, Hoku, come here. Here, here's a treat. Here's a treat, right here. Come here. Here's a treat, watch. Here. <laughs> so we have a timer and we can like feed her or anything like that. Um, say like, we got this because we went on a weekend trip really quick and so you know cats are easy you just leave them with their litter and all that which was kind of weird because I haven't had a cat in a while you know because like my old cat Ali'i he would go outside um, but I've never had a straight indoor cat and I know that they live longer this way so I do not mind picking up her litter or anything like that we want to get one of those little like robo litter things but we don't know which one is good and some people complain about like the noise and stuff of them, but I don't think that would really bother me. Ugh, even after that meat stick and everything, I feel like I'm just gonna have like a protein bar. So tonight I'm just gonna make mahi mahi, rice, asparagus. I might wrap it in bacon. So you guys will see that. And then we have leftover Wingstop Ranch. I think I told you guys this, but yeah, I just did my hair really quick. I'm just wearing, um, I just did a quick look from my TikTok, it's like Natasha Denona Sigma Wicked Liner. I have Milani Rose Cheek or something. And then this one is Sparkle Pink from Revlon. It's like part of their gloss line. 
And then I just have my chunky hoops from my line as well as my huggies from my line. And then these are my two rings. Oh, I hear Glenn. I always know because of his lifted truck. I'm gonna let Ewok go pee. And we can greet Glenn, hello. Also, I just made a post showing this and you guys were cracking up because some of you don't have Instagram. And yes, I have a squirrel friend, which I'll be doing a vlog on very soon. But I'll put a little picture. I posted in community and that's my friend, Sunflower. <laughs> so I have a bench, so she gets a bench. Hi. Hi. <laughs> Are you saying hi? <laughs> Speaking of cats, my neighbor called me the other day outside and he's like hey look at this and usually he shows like old pictures of when he was little because he's like 83 he's like i want you to pick one this one's from the original owner of my house so <laughs> this is the one i picked because <laughs> it's in, in between like another cat that definitely doesn't look like our cats or this one that's kind of like hoku so i was like all right let's just get this <laughs> he's like you gotta add a clock to it i'm like okay <laughs> And then I couldn't tell him no, even though we're trying to get like rid of stuff that we don't need. But how can you say no to that? Like, come on now, right? Yep. Say hi. Hi. You're not going to show yourself? Hi. Oh, hi. there you go. That's you. Hi. <laughs> hi. We're vlogging again. Ooh, ooh. Ooh, ooh. Look at you. Spoiled. Ah, Hoku. Call of Duty? Yeah, he's playing Call of Duty. Guess what I'm into now? Not all the way, but I do enjoy it. Legos. I'm currently doing the up house. I'm on bag number two and there's just three bags. I just took a shower, so I'm gonna cook a very quick dinner and I'm just gonna show you because I'm into my underwear, so let's just cook. First, I'm gonna add a little bit of olive oil and I'm gonna be cooking the fish and the asparagus in the same exact pot. Here is the asparagus and I'm just gonna do lemon pepper and maybe a little bit more. And no shame in my game, I am a fan of the rice aroni rice pilaf, so that's what we're having. I think those box rices are so convenient. Let me know down below if you use them. This is the one I'm talking about. Let me know. I love these. Oh, cool. What are you doing? Meow. Someone's in the corner. Someone got in trouble. <laughs> Just have this on a little bit above medium heat. And now we're going to go to the Mahi Mahi Filets. Glenn wants more Cajun style. So all I do is just take a little bit of Old Bay on one side and then I take a little bit of Slap Ya Mama just sprinkle that on one side this one's a little bit more salty so I use it sparingly and then I'll just take a little bit of lemon pepper just a little and then some onion powder and last but not least chili powder Sometimes I'll use smoked paprika, but just a little. This is like the easiest side ever. And then after, I just add some Kinder's lemon pepper. Love this stuff. It's a must. And then I'll, where's my lemon? Then I'll just take a little sliver of this and put some fresh lemon juice. And I'm done. You don't need salt and pepper because this already has enough. And you don't want to over salt it. So I definitely want some crunch to them. So I'm just going to add some seasoning just like that and that's all I'll add on one side and then just kind of toss this around. You don't want to over season it and I always season it more towards the end so that it doesn't end up burning and since there's already lemon pepper I don't squeeze too much fresh lemon just that like barely any just like that so this doesn't over lemon them I guess you can say just just a, a pinch and done. And if you guys have been keeping up with Costco videos, we are obsessed with these plates, you guys. They bring food to another level. This is so hard to do while filming. But we absolutely love these plates so much. I just grabbed that one just so I can put this on the side. But all the meals I've been making, I'm telling you, colorful plates just make it. Okay, so I'm actually just going to turn it off. A little bit more olive oil. 
Now I'm just gonna add a little blob of butter. Just circle that around, pan is still nice and hot. Okay, now I'm gonna bring it to low medium because it's still pretty hot, but I do want to sear on the fish. So let's just plop that right there. Actually, let's bring it to medium. Okay, it's at medium now. And just place the fish. Now on that side, that's when I'll take, again, the onion powder. I'll do Old Bay. And I won't do the Slap Your Mama because, like I said, that one is pretty salty and so is this one. So you just need it on one side. And then the chili. And that's it. All right. Pretty sure we got a nice sear on there. So now I'm just going to give it a little flip. Beautiful. And a flip. Mahi Mahi doesn't need that long to cook either. I'm just going to add a little bit of butter on this side. Just to evenly coat this piece too. Our salad bowls, like, I'm telling you, these colorful bowls are amazing. And then, of course, we're going to use the rest of our Wingstop Ranch, the best ranch ever. This piece is definitely done. It still has, like, a little bit of bounce to it. Just place that right there. Place the asparagus. And there we go. Yum. You know what I'm saying? What? He just rolled his eyes. <laughs> Bon appetit, my sweets! Here's our mahi-mahi rice pilaf with asparagus, and then we'll have our garden salad. Have you guys been keeping up with Scandaval? We're about to watch the reunion of Vanderpump with Rock... Or I always say Rock Out Rachel. We're about to watch the reunion with Rachel finally making an appearance in freaking three, episode three. And we're going to eat dinner while we indulge in this horrible reality TV. <laughs> All right, guys. So I hope you're excited for vlogs. There we go. Woo! All right. I will see you guys in the next vlog. Bye. Bye. I'm so sad. We don't have it yet. We watch it on Peacock and it comes on Thursdays. I thought it was Thursday. I guess we'll wait till tomorrow. <laughs>